Okay, it's time for another play of the week. The ball is on the seven-yard line going in in the red zone. Number two takes the ball. The quarterback rolls to his left, and just as he's about to score a touchdown, it looks like number five may possibly commit an illegal block in the back. So that's what I want to know. If you were the official on this game, is this an illegal block on the back? Let us know, and we'll break this one down next week. So on last week's play, I said there was two potential illegal actions. The first one happens at the line of scrimmage where it's a potential defensive hold against the running back. And then we have a potential, which actually was flagged by the official, horse collar downfield. Now, the two things I will say on the first one. If you thought as the official that this player was acting as a runner and the defense was making a legitimate play, then you could let it go. That's your judgment here. But he was an eligible receiver, and if you felt that the defense was actually tackling or holding an eligible receiver, you could have a flag. Now, downfield, horse collar, safety foul. We don't have the best angle on this. And I would go with the official on the field just because of the way the player turns at the end. If you've got that knee buckle and that initial pullback, then that's enough for a horse collar, in my opinion, because it is a safety foul. But... If you had the first, the second, or both, that's why it's you make the call because that's why we're paid the big bucks as officials because we have to break this down and figure it out. Be sure to follow us for more here at MIBTonline.com. Subscribe. Hey, we have our meetings. We break all this stuff down. So you want to be sure to subscribe to MIBTonline.com.